Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and today I'm super excited to be showing you the all new Daiwa 23 Seaborg 400J. This is a brand new electric reel that's just come out and in today's video I'm going to give you a look at the reel, we're going to spool the reel with line and then we're also going to look at a couple of different rods that it matches well to. So stick along and let's have a look at it. So here it is, the all new Seaborg. Now this is a compact electric reel designed for fishing with P3, P4, P5 lines. It's ideally suited for guys that are going to be bottom fishing for dewfish, snapper, pretty much any demersal fishing. This I think this is really going to be one of the best ones. Last year they brought out a 300 size and that one's been extremely popular but this 400 is just slightly bigger and it's got more cranking power, it's got more drag and overall it's just a slightly better size for bottom fishing. You can also use this for slow pitch jigging and that will work really well also. This is the, the 400 and then here we have a 500 Seaborg MJ and this is the 400. So the 400 is definitely going to be a better size and weight wise will be a better size for your bottom fishing. It is a little bit smaller but it definitely weighs a fair bit less than the 500. The 500 is a great reel, it's dual speed, it's powerful but sometimes for you know guys fishing in under 100 meters of water it can be a little bit big. This is where the 400 really comes into its own. It weighs 585 grams, so it's extremely light. It's not heavy. It's really going to match to those light jigging rods it, you know, very well and not be too heavy of a combo. The reel comes with a nice big aluminium handle, which is extremely comfortable. And you can see just the overall finish of the reel. They've really done a great job on it. It's, you know, it's, it's finished really well. There's no, not too many like nooks and crannies um, for salt water to get trapped in. The great thing about these little electric reels is you can fish with these one handed. Now you can drop your line down simply by just engaging the free spool. So by clicking the thumb bar there that puts the reel into free spool and it has this little uh, button on the side which will re-engage the reel. So you can simply press that button, the reel is engaged once again. You can also do this by just winding the handle. So if we put the reel into free spool again, we wind the handle, the reel clicks back into gear. If you want to fish one handed with this reel, absolutely not a problem, you can do it. You've got the little adjustable speed or variable speed dial here. This is uh, how you retrieve the line and you can simply put that to the top or put it to the bottom and it's a variable speed. However fast or however slow you want to retrieve the line, you simply move that dial and that retrieves the line for you. This reel packs about 16 kilos of drag pressure, which is you know an absolute stack for a small reel of this size. Stopping a big dewfish or a big snapper from running along the bottom, you're not gonna have a problem with it. Depending on what line that you fish with, I think a lot of guys are gonna spool this reel up with PE5 line. With most of the PE5 lines, you'll fit about 300 meters on this reel, maybe 350 meters, depending on what brand of line that you go with. And I guess the other question that you know a lot of people are going to have is how fast is this reel? So it all depends on how much drag pressure or how much pressure there is on the reel. What's the load? You know how big the fish is. To give you a rough idea, this thing pulls about 150 meters a minute with a reasonably light weight. So when you do hook a fish, you don't want to be just jamming the reel into into high speed and locking the drag. You know you want to actually play the fish with the electric with you know the electric reel and you know th that's how you assist the fish to the surface. On average if you're checking baits about 150 meters a minute. Back to the finish of the reel like I was saying really top quality um, finished off really well it is made in Japan so you've got a premium Japanese quality reel here they come in at $12.49 so the price is they're not over the top but they're not cheap either if you're looking for a top quality Japanese you know, electric fishing reel, you really can't go past one of these new Daiwa 23 Seaborgs. Let's go and match it up to a few rods and I'll also show you how to spool the reel with line. Let's take a look at a couple of rods that match really well with this reel. I've picked out three here that I think are going to be ideal for a lot of the guys that are going to be buying this and using them for demersal fishing. And firstly, let's take a look at the Assassin Pitchmaster. Now this is a jigging style rod, but it's still going to be really good for using with like things like bottom meats, the hybrid jigs. You know, you can uh, drop them really easily to the bottom. 
And the rod is extremely lightweight. It has a split butt section here, so the base of the rod, uh, very lightweight. Got a nice big fighting butt on there. The good thing about the reel seat is it's nice and small, quite, quite comfortable, holds the reel really well. We got double bound Fuji componentry, so you can fit nice leader knots, 80 to 100 pound through this rod. And it's just overall, for that light jigging and that bottom meat fishing, these Assassin Pitchmasters really are a great option. This particular model here is rated PE 4 to 5, so you can fish you know, 40 to 50 pound line through it. And that there's got, you know, it's going to be a nice little combo. All your bottom fishing, you really can't go past one of those. Next up, we're going to take a look at the Daiwa Demon Blood 58 4 to 6. Now this rod here is actually rated P4 to 6, but I think it's ideally suited to fishing 50 pound braid or PE5. The rod is 5 foot 8 and it's a little bit different action to the first rod that I showed you. It's a little bit faster in the tip. So I find this rod's really suited well for bottom fishing with like Paternoster style rigs. You can still use bottom meats through it, but it's more of a bottom fishing rod than it is so much of a jigging rod. And the rod has a full butt section, so this is really good for in the rod holder. You don't have to worry about the exposed blank. You also have the little Fuji fighting butt. And that one thing about this as well is when the rod's in the holder, it'll actually lock the rod from twisting and moving around. The good thing about this rod as well, it has a nice Fuji jigging style reel seat, which is really comfortable. You get a real good grip on the reel and the rod together at the same time and it makes fishing one-handed real easy. The rod's fitted with all Fuji componentry which is double bound and again this, this rod would have no problem fishing 100 pound leader knots through the guides. They'll go through absolutely perfectly. Overall a really really good option for bottom fishing. The last rod I'm going to show you is a Daiwa Spartan. Now this is more of that jigging style rod and this is the Spartan slow jig series. This one here that I'm looking at is a PE6 rod, but they're very soft in the tip. These rod, even though it's rated to PE6 line, I would actually fish with PE5 through this particular model, and I think that suits it pretty much perfectly. This is, as I was saying, more of that jigging style rod, so we have a split butt, but it does come with a movable um, rod protector, so wherever the rod fits in the, or sits in the rod holder, you can move that little uh, EVA foam and set it in place so it doesn't get damaged. Nice little rear butt section. And again, we have that real nice jigging style grip that fits the reel just perfectly. Real nice, lightweight and comfortable. Again, with Daiwa, we have top quality Fuji guides, but on this particular model, we have acid wrap guides. So the guides actually wrap around the blank and that's to eliminate any line twist or the rod twisting when you're fighting a fish. This is the Daiwa Spartan Slow Jig Series, and if you're looking at a premium rod, this is definitely a really good option to check out. But all three rods that I've showed you match up perfectly with this Seaborg reel. Pop in store, we'll run you through them, we'll check out a couple of other different rods. That's the Daiwa Seaborg 400. Let's go and check out how to spool up the reel. Firstly, once we power the reel up, you'll have the option of what language you want to put it in. So obviously we are going to put it in English, which we Go to English, we press OK. Yes. We're then going to choose whether we want the reel in metres or feet. Obviously, we do things properly in Australia, so we're going to keep this in metres. From here, we want to go into the menu of the reel, so we hold down the pickup and the memo button at the same time. Line data input. Click on that. We press OK. And the way we are going to spool this up is via the machine, so we are going to go with P1 press OK. Now, this little menu on the reel is your tension menu. And pretty much the whole time you want to be hovering that little arrow in between. You don't want to put it on too, too light and you don't want to put it on too heavy. So try and keep that arrow in the middle for the majority of the time that you're spooling the reel. Right, we're just going to put the line on. So there's no need for any backing line. These reels have a little knob on the spool and pretty much what we do is we just tie a knot to that. I like to just tie with a uh, uni knot, real nice and simple. Do like a five turn 
six turn uni knot tie it directly to that knob on the spool nice and tight and then we're ready to spool the reel so we're using a line machine here but you can do this by hand if you have somebody holding um, some tension on a on a spool now it's as simple as just winding the line on the reel as you can see it's got some bloody power it's extremely fast on this reel we're putting 50 pounds Daiwa J braid on it. We should fit about maybe a little bit over 300 meters. I've just finished spooling this and we fit 300 meters of Daiwa 50 pound J braid on here. If you were fishing with like Taz line that fits really flat and packs really flat onto the reel, you'll probably fit a little bit more line. But now we need to program the reel to how much line we have actually fit on it. So you press OK when you're finished. Now, it comes standard at the 300 metres, but you can go and adjust it to whatever amount of line you have fit on there. So you want to be as accurate as you can. So we're on 300. Oh, let's get it down to the 300. And we press OK. Now it's completed. Press OK again. And the reel is set, ready to use. One little tip I'll give you with these reels as well is they have a reset button on here. So wherever you want the reel to stop winding, you press reset so it pretty much zeroes the reel out if you get to the bottom in 100 meters of, lot of water you press reset you have to wind it up manually so when you put a leader line on there if you lose a little bit of line you always have to be um, cautious you know of when you reset the line you don't want to zero the reel out and then have not enough line and it will wind your swivel or your clip into your rod tip so just always be cautious as to where you actually have your your reel uh, zeroed out and it's as simple as pressing the reset button in the middle of the screen boom the reels reset okay guys that's the all new Daiwa Seaborg 400 if you want to get your hands on one of these you can come in store or you can go on to tacklewest.com.au be quick because we don't have a lot of stock of these and like all the other electric reels they sell out really quick it's hard to get your hands on them we do ship them globally as well, so for all of our overseas customers, just get on our website, tacklewest.com.au, and you can place your orders and we'll get them shipped out. But that's the all-new Daiwa Seaborg 400J.